This may be the Thomas Edison method, but this is also the world's easiest and simple technique to solve any problem. If you want to start getting clarity on everything, start answering all your questions, this video is for you. The Thomas Edison method, how you can do it and how you can change your life, 360 degrees. What's going on my brother? So if you are lazy and you want to get results, this is actually for you. And I'm not telling you to be lazy, but if you are lazy, you can start here because you already do exactly this. You're just not doing it intentionally and you're not going to get the best results unless you do it intentionally. So what actually is the Thomas Edison method and how can you use it in your daily life? Ironically, the reason I'm making this video is because I use this method and the idea was to make the video to show people how to use this method because it gave me so much clarity. Not only with this, but with multiple video ideas just by doing this one simple method. I've got a whole page of information about it. If you are not aware, Thomas Edison is the man who created the light bulb. Hmm. Not really, but kind of yes. Nikola Tesla was the man who created the light bulb. I'm not going to go into my, why I prefer Nikola Tesla over Thomas Edison because the, the point is Thomas Edison still did it. Like, I don't care what anyone says, whether he stole it, anything like that, which is true because he did. Tesla made it first. He still did it. He still made it happen. And he still had this method to become more creative as well. So this is what I want to explain to you so that you can start to do this. Now, if you aren't aware, it apparently took, um, it apparently took Thomas Edison a thousand tries to come up with the light bulb. He tried 999, none of them worked. He sold Nikola Tesla's Tessa, idea and that worked. Unfortunately, Nikola Tesla wanted to do it for free, whereas Thomas Edison wanted to charge for it. So we could have free energy, but we don't. Again, there's no point in complaining about it. We might as well get on with it and change something about this and still use what these people did. Because even if these type of people use this stuff, then you might as well use it as well. So I'm gonna get into the exact step-by-step -step of what I did and how you can start doing it today. So what he would do is he would go and lay down on a chair and he would start to relax and he'd hold a metal ball in his hand. The reason he would hold a metal ball, I'm just gonna use my keys. You can use keys, it doesn't really matter what it is. And ideally you want a hard floor so you can hear them. He would lay with his hand like this, holding onto the keys. And when he would lay there, he would begin to fall asleep. And as he eventually fell, asleep the keys would drop and would wake him up and the reason you're doing this is you're going into a hypnagogic state you're going into a state of hypnosis now we go into hypnosis at least twice a day just as we wake up in the morning and just as we are going to sleep so if you can get into these states regardless of what you're doing then you're going to be in a very creative mode because hypnosis itself is there's effectively there's no analytical mind so all the stuff that you would think, oh no, but I can't do that because, or no, this isn't gonna work because, that's just not there and it never is with hypnosis and that's why I love hypnosis. And if you wanna be hypnotized, drop me a message and I can hypnotize you. Make sure you head over to my website, www.maxinder.com um, and send me a text on WhatsApp and we can speak about it, see your problems and we can really work through that in a rapid period of time, a matter of 30 days. So effectively what you've got to do is you've got to fall asleep. That's what you've got to do. So if you're lazy and you like to sleep, then this method is perfect for you. You don't have to try anything. You just need to lay down and just go to sleep. And make sure you've got a pen and paper with you so that when you're ready to write, you've got it there in pen and paper rather than on your phone because you don't want the distractions. So don't put it in your notes page, put it on pen and paper just so it's just completely away from technology and you're separating yourself for the moment. And the main reason I like this method is because everything is just creative and ideas just flow. When you're in this state of mind, ideas flow. You don't even need to see a hypnotist. I always say, you shouldn't need to see therapists and hypnotists and uh, coaches in your life, you shouldn't need it. Although at some points in our life, we do need it. I'm not saying it's irrelevant, but what I am saying is we shouldn't need it consistently ongoing for the rest of our life, because at the end of the day, we are and should be the person that helps ourselves. Because when you have ideas flowing in your life, you're going to start making radical shifts in your life. And when you make radical shifts in your life, you're going to change your life. So let's get into the method of exactly what you need to do step by step. So the Edison method, which I'm going to actually rewrite to the Tesla method, just because Loamo, Nikola Tesla, Nikola Tesla is the greatest. Nikola Tesla is a genius. Thomas Edison just made this method mainstream. I suppose it is Thomas Edison's method. Yeah, I can't really take it, but he took Tesla's idea. So I'm going to take Thomas Edison's idea. Sorry, Thomas. Actually, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I prefer Nikola. The first thing you want to do is not set an alarm because what you're doing when you're going to sleep and you've got your keys in your hand or just something loud, something that's gonna, a fork, I don't care what it is, just make sure you're safe with this and don't stab yourself. But what you wanna do is you want to be in a place where you're not going to worry about the alarm. 
oh is it gone off yet 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 if you're a very good sleeper and you can sleep very easily then that's okay you can set an alarm do whatever you need to do but ideally you don't want to set an alarm and you want to maybe give yourself about an hour to do this or so so where you would usually do a meditation or something like that put in place this method instead and give it a go and see how this works for you because the amount of ideas that came to me just by doing this one method i literally i personally do it on the beach that's my favorite place do not do this in bed because your bed is associated to real sleep you want to do this in a place where you're not going to fall completely asleep because the idea is that you will wake back up and when you're in your bed once you fall asleep you can get comfy so you don't want to be too comfortable so ideally do it somewhere in nature because nature is a very beautiful place the reason I love the beach is there's people talking all the time. So either way, whatever I'm doing, they're going to be making noise. It doesn't really matter. So that's why La Playa is mi febra, febrito, febrito. It's my favorite because there's people around and I, I hear them, I wake up and that's exactly, I actually woke up yesterday from a little spot of rain. There was a, a little bit of rain on the beach and that woke me up and then I kicked into gear and I wrote one, two, three pages three pages yeah three pages of information about videos I wrote a few about TikTok, YouTube all that kind of stuff so now you've got a clear mind you've got something in your hand that's gonna make some noise or you're in a place where you're going to just be woken up like I said for me it was nature I didn't actually hold something in my hand because I was laying on the beach so that works perfectly fine as well but you need to be prepared to literally get up and answer questions in, in your mind. So the next thing you need to do is simple, fall asleep, just fall asleep. And I want you to have one question on your mind. Now, this question that you have on your mind is going to be effectively answered by your subconscious when you drop into this hyp hypnagogic state into the state of hypnosis effectively. So all you need to do is just repeat over and over and over in your mind the question that you have. Now, if you don't actually have any questions, just do this anyway and see what pops up. If you do have specific questions, then lay down. My question literally was, I can't remember exactly what it was worth for work because I didn't write it down, it was in my head. Um, because I w wasn't even going to make this method as a video, this was just something I was doing to help myself with, with making videos, ironically. In my head I was just saying, how can I reach more people and impact more people? How can I reach more people? How can I impact more people? How can I reach more people? How can I impact more people? And this was in regards to content, so I can't remember exactly, it was something like, what videos can I make that will really help people? And this is the idea that came to mind. And, and I was just asking myself constantly, what can I do to help more people? What videos can I make to help more people? Constantly, constantly, constantly. Until eventually, I woke back up. And when I woke back up, I immediately rushed. And I was like, oh, this method, this is what I need to do. I need to make this method. I need to make this method into a video. I searched on YouTube. There's like barely any videos on this method. So I was like, I'm gonna make an A to Z of exactly how to do this method so that you can reach this blissful state so that you can be very creative. You can change your life. You can answer questions. You can solve your problems. Because that's what I'm about, solving your own problems. And the last step really is when you awaken, ask the question again, get ready to write, use pen and paper as I said not your phone you don't want distractions and just see what comes out and then at the end I wrote this is how the idea to make this video came to me all because of this method this may be the Thomas Edison method but this is also the world's easiest and simple technique to solve any problem and the fact is you do already do this you just don't know that you're doing it unintentionally and if you start to use it watch your life shift and this is what I did write about it about Thomas Edison I don't like him because of what he stole from Nikola Tesla but we need to stop complaining, mainly me, because I'm the only one complaining in this video, um, because he may have stole Tesla's idea, but he still did it. Complain and blame, or use a technique for good. That's all I'm, I care about. Like, regardless of what someone else has done, we can moan and stress about that our whole life, or we can use the technique for good, and know that it's from a good place, because everything that I do is always from a good place, so I know, and I can sleep perfectly well at night, because I know that everything that I do is always gonna be to help other people. So use this method, change your life, and let me know how it goes. And also, subscribe.